JVN, we keep you informed. Patient Zero Family, labeled as Corona Family. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Family members of Patient Zero, the first person to test positive for the novel coronavirus, COVID-19 in Jamaica, say they have been subjected to harsh and unkind words by some members of the public. We just want people to know, Semenis did not intentionally contract it and pass it on to anyone, said Mary Jane, not a real name, aunt of patient zero. Jane said that the family has been targeted by persons who are constantly labeling them as the corona family. I am worried, God know. People targeting us and pointing out your house and saying that is where we live. No one will threaten yet or anything, but there are lots of talks. And while it doesn't bother me, the younger ones feel away. They have seen the comments on social media and some of them really hurtful, Jane said. Patient Zero came to Jamaica from the United Kingdom on March 4 to attend a funeral. She has been to sections of the corporate area, St. Thomas, as well as Clarendon. She tested positive for the mysterious virus on Monday and has been in isolation in the hospital. Up to Thursday, her condition was said to be stable. Some persons with whom she has made contact have been quarantined by health authorities. Jane said that her niece was born in Jamaica, but has lived in the UK since she was a youngster. And although she visited the island for a sad occasion, she was extremely happy to be reunited with her family. She was very happy. She never stayed with me, but we met at the funeral and after. Everybody was so happy to see her, she said. Jane, 66, is a diabetic and was scheduled to undergo tests on Thursday. She said that she does not have flu-like symptoms, but added that at least eight other family members have been quarantined. Persons on the Ministry of Health and Wellness visit we, and so far, eight away we have been quarantined. We're just trying to cope as a family. The children are out of school, she said. Hours before the government made the decision to shut our learning facilities for two weeks to prevent the spread of the disease. She stated that she has very little knowledge about her niece's condition, saying that she has not heard from her since she was placed in isolation. Jane urged the relevant authorities to release more literature on the virus as a means of educating the public. There are still a lot of persons who are taking it out of context and believe that so once you contract it, you're dead. I listen to the instructions and advice on the radio, so I have a bit of knowledge about it, she said. Jane said that her family is depending on their faith in God to take them through these trying times. We never really want this, but right now all we can do is pray and ask God for help, she said. We just have to be strong and ask God to have his way and deliver us, she said. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember, subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.